899 price range has been getting a lot of attention from all sorts of manufacturers. The one thing it's been missing though is a nice all-round well-finished and good sounding earphone. Turns out though, Oppo gives a puck. Hi guys, I'm Paul and welcome to another episode. If you like what I'm doing on my channel, remember to like, share and subscribe. Oppo has always had a bit of a premium experience during their unboxing and it's usually the first impressions that really get you going. Oppo manages that. So the puck that you get in the box is quite interesting because most manufacturers go the Apple route. These guys have gone the more fabulous route and the only thing really missing is a mirror on the inside when you flip it open to take your buds out. So because of the design of this case, you can't really open it with one hand, which makes it kind of odd. The case has a very neat matte finish to it. There's a USB-C charging slot right under the hinge and the LED indicator is on the inside of the box. So if you want to see whether your case is charged or not, you have to open it up. It's a bit weird. The placement of these earbuds upon opening the case is a bit different because they're not the pluck or pull out type of earphones. You have to sort of slide them out of their bed and then get a grip on it. The fit and finish of these earbuds certainly don't belong in this price range. They remind me a lot of their bigger brother, the Oppo Enco Free. The pairing button is placed right under the LED light for that first sync up. The earbuds have touch controls on the upper side of their stem. Double tapping the right bud lets you answer and end calls and skip to the next track. Double tapping the left bud lets you switch audio profiles, one being balanced mode and one bass mode. I'll get into how they sound in a bit. Removing and reinserting the earbud will also let you pause and play your audio. Call clarity amongst most manufacturers now has reached a level that's pretty good, Oppo being one of them. The sound coming in is as clear as your cellular provider will allow and the sound going out to your recipient is taken care of by the environmental noise cancelling thanks to the multitude of microphones that these earbuds have. So let's talk battery. Oppo claims 3.5 hours of playback time on the earbuds alone at 50% volume. So if you listen to your media at 60%, you can expect about 3 hours of listening time on the earphones alone. And with the help of the case, you can add another 14 to 15 hours. 50% volume on these doesn't sound too low, thanks to how well they isolate. Oppo's design ensures that you slip the rear part of the earbud against the inner cup of your ear, putting pressure against the ear tip. If the ear tip is the proper size, you're gonna get a very nice seal. I really like the way these fit because the ear tips just sit on the outside of the ear canal creating a clean seal. They don't feel invasive like your typical in-ear earphones. So let's talk about the sound stage. These have a slight illusion of space with everything concentrated in your head. Some tones do sound like they're coming slightly out of the bud and the phantom channel is dead center. The imaging of these buds I think is a lot better than other buds in this price range but maybe I'll leave that for another video. The separation between instruments and vocals is very easy to filter out if you want to zone into something. High frequencies are handled with grace and at no point do they sound shrill. Acoustic and percussive instruments tend to sound quite natural in this range. Sibilances aren't really an issue with these because at no point did I hear any vocalist whose S's cut into my ear and cause any discomfort. Mid frequencies are definitely recessed. They've got a significant V-curve EQ sound to them in this range. The dip eases the vocals on the ear and ensures longer listening hours without much fatigue. Having said that, the vocals do manage to mingle very well with other frequencies. Harmonies of a well-recorded track sound just ooh. Low frequencies in balance mode come at you with a tightness and focus so as to not muddle or distort any other frequencies. These do manage sub-low frequencies, which I'm surprised that any buds in this price range can handle, and they do have a heft to them. When you put them into their bass mode, there's a considerable boost to their lower frequencies. Perfect for dance music and bass lovers. But if you listen to anything lighter, you'll notice that that excessive bass tends to drown out a lot of the mid and higher frequencies. Thankfully, the sound profile you prefer is just a double tap away. So everything from the unboxing experience to handling them, pairing them and engaging with them has been good fun and it's tough to not like them. If I really have to nitpick and figure out something that I don't like with these, um, I'd most probably say that just like their bigger brother, maybe at 50% volume, they're not as punchy as they could be. You'll have to get them to about 65 to 70% to really have fun with them. One thing you can take away from these earphones is that driver size 
isn't as important as having a well-tuned driver. These have a 7mm driver and they carry themselves with absolute grace. These are very enjoyable earphones on a musical front and they hold up very well with movies too. The one weird thing may be the case. But what makes it cool is that it's different to everything else out there. It's a bit refreshing and kind of unbelievable that these are being sold for 3999. The MRP on the box says these go for 5999. These buds being sold for that price? I can believe. So would I recommend these for everyone? No. These don't have a sound signature that everyone will like. If you're into electronic music, dance music, there are other earbuds in this range that you'll certainly enjoy. But if you like your rock music, acoustic music, these could breathe new life into your music if you're upgrading to earphones in this range. So thank you for watching and tuning in to Paul's POV for some sound advice. There's a USB-C charging slot, right? <coughs> slot. Became Sean Connery over there. <laughs> she shells, she shells. You want a salvage? Yeah, give. <coughs> Where did you learn to throw it?